Should people be optimistic, Jerry Kelly, watching this programme tonight, that there is a glimmer of hope that these issues, which seem intractable, can be sorted out briefly? Well, in my opinion, there has never been intractable problems. People talk about intractable problems. There's problems. There's obviously we've we've solved bigger problems than right. this. But let me let me make Very this point. Quickly. If you wanted to move this forward, the first thing because the DUP have said that they weren't involved in this negotiation is about legacy. Right. Give the money to the right. Lord Chief Justice. He's standing outside and there's victims and survivors waiting, some of them over 45 and 46 years. Give them some respect. Give the money to the Lord Chief Justice. It's nothing to do with politics. And well, that's not mentioned that. in this document, interestingly. It was, yeah, because we were involved in the negotiations over the last period with the British government. Ah, but right. but okay. there you is go. that all right? You knew about it. Right. You and had you agreed that? Had you no, agreed no, that with the British government? Just because no, had you no, there's a bit of sarcasm government? coming from the right here. So, uh, let, uh, okay. so let me explain had, to you. No, we haven't got time. Had well, you agreed it with the British government? Yes, we had agreed. We had agreed it with we the British government. We had agreed. The statute of limitations was not going to be in the consultation. Right. The consultation was going to be put out and the money was going to be released to the Lord Chief Justice. That was agreed. OK. And wh when was that agreed? That was agreed alongside that. OK. And why can't that go on ahead? Why can't that go ahead? It should go ahead. It should go ahead, even though this agreement has fallen. It should go ahead. So ju ju just to clarify, that issue of, of legacy and legacy payments for inquest has been agreed between Sinn Féin and the British government? Yes. Ask the DUP where they are. On. No, well, I, I'm, Ask the I, DUP where they are. I, I, and, and I will certainly tell you, uh, we're happy for the consultation on the draft legislation to go out. We do believe that victims and survivors should now have their say, and it's long past time when they should have their say on those proposals. But as for uh, handing over money to one element of the legacy uh, problem, we do not believe that that's The Lord right. Chief Justice has asked for this money he to has. be handed over. Don't and you trust him to be an impartial legal figure who does what is right for everybody in Northern Ireland? Uh, it is not that we don't trust the uh, uh, Lord Chief Justice. Well, then you couldn't, what, if you trust are, him, you couldn't no, disagree with his call for the money to be no, released. No, Mark, what we are saying... 150 we are, million pounds. No, what we are saying is that there is also money needed to investigate the unsolved murders for thousands of innocent people, Mark, who are waiting and waiting and waiting for their cases to be dealt with. And because they haven't gone to uh, uh, for an inquest, right. uh, they are not getting priority. And that's just not fair. Did and it's you not know? Right. OK, just to be clear, um, we're There's now taking extra time on this because this is a very interesting There's a contradiction here, by the way, because Jeffrey, Jeffrey a moment ago pretended that he didn't know there was a negotiation going on about, well, about legacy. I'm now he's, now he's given big opinions on right. it which he's supposed to not have. All right. Well, I'm curious to know. Let's just take a minute or two more because we've, we, we've got to somewhere that I don't think any of us expected quite to get to. Did you know in the DUP that that issue had been agreed between Sinn Féin no, and the British government? Because not. we're hearing that on this programme for the first no, time we tonight. Most, we, we most certainly did. Okay. And I, I can say because uh, I, right? I, am, right? I am our party's okay. representative okay. on legacy okay. issues at did, Mark. Did you and know, I can tell did, you now, I, I am on, certainly Jerry. not aware of and was not aware of <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the government okay. agreeing with Sinn Féin that right. they were going to hand over money okay. for inquest. You didn't know. Just, no, just, I, just I want to be absolutely clear. Jerry Kelly's told me that's been agreed. Uh, and I have to take his word for it. You're now telling me, as the DUP's I person on this subject, you didn't know. Absolutely. You didn't know. So first he says all, he didn't know. First of all, I can prove it, but, but, but certainly not Well, just tell me, is that no, a surprise no, to you? can prove that I knew. It's, it's not is a it a surprise no, no. to hear Sir Geoffrey say he didn't know? I can prove the agreement was made, but just let's be clear with that. I'm, ask, hang I'm, on, getting I'm to asking that. you. I'm getting to that. Is it I'm a surprise? OK. Because as I understand it, and you may contradict this, I understood that a number of, and you're on the officer board, I believe, that a number of the officer board of the DUP said, maybe including yourself, and that's what I'm no. checking out, that you didn't know how, how far this agreement had gone. And therefore you didn't know about the legacy money as well. Is that right? I had so, so, now you're, so now you're talking as if... So now you're talking as if you were completely over... Legacy money. But you, you've you're been left out in the cold by your own party uh, then, haven't uh, you? No, well, let me well, make you're this accepting a, a version of events from Jerry Kelly. I will uh, speak on this issue. Okay, well, let, I will speak for the DUP. Right. Okay. And, well, let, on the, and I can tell you categorically uh, that uh, the DUP was not, uh, has not been involved in discussions or been part of Here's what happened in the negotiations. Any agreement between Fianna and the government on legacy. Here's what happened. Explain it to us, Here's what happened in the negotiations, Sam. Uh, one of the negotiators came in and said Arlene Foster was very upset that uh, she was getting blamed and holding back the legacy money. Jeffrey Donald has also has now told us that, of course, they were holding back the legacy money. I said, OK, well, um, what is your position? Because I was being told by the negotiators that they had no problem with that. And one of the other negotiators, who was clearly more in charge, said, oh, no, hold on, we have a position that and give. Jeffrey Donaldson's position. So, 
explain that. Explain this thing that the officer board didn't know what was going on. Parts of the, I presume, I don't know the officer board, I presume parts of the officer board, certainly the leader of your party was involved in these right. negotiations. Okay, well, let's hear from Sir Geoffrey. What is communication like at the senior levels within the DPP? Excellent. It is very, really? very good. And I can tell you now, Mark, that uh, in relation to legacy inquests and funding and the legacy proposals, uh, no such proposal was put to me. Uh, and I most certainly am not aware of any agreement reached between Sinn Féin and the UK government to hand over money for legacy inquests. OK, this is interesting. Uh, I, you didn't know about that. Uh, Jerry surprised you didn't know about it. It seems that Gregory Campbell didn't know some of the details of this agreement last week either. Is it possible that there were DUP negotiators in that room who were going ahead trying to reach compromises with Sinn Féin and that other senior members of the party weren't told about that? Well, I, I don't believe that is the case, Mark. Could you I understand how people might think that? Well, people may think, uh, based on what Jerry is telling you... Well, are you saying you don't believe him? I can, are, are you saying I, you don't believe Jerry Kelly I'm, and what he's just said tonight? Well, I, I've heard his version of events. Yes. Um, but I am and I'm asking you, you if you, you believe it. I, I'm, telling you that in the I'm telling you that in okay. the meetings of the party officers that I attended, um, that this issue did not arise. Did you attend them all? I was there, I think, at all of them. Right. There are what are you going to do after this? Make a quick phone call to find out what was going on and how come you were blindsided? Well, I don't think I need to because in the end... Believe you know, me, we're, we're, we we're, need we're, to. we're hearing what Sinn Féin are saying. Right. But I will, be talking, I will be talking to the government at Westminster about okay. this because uh, I think that it would be You'd wrong. be pretty annoyed with the government I if would you discovered that what Jerry I, Kelly's saying I, is right I, and I you didn't be. know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course except, we would. Okay. except once again, the DUP are refusing the rights of victims right. and survivors can I, can I ask you, to have them. All right, right a, a final them. question on this, because we've gone way over on it, and I need to ask you a very simple question. Do you have a document that shows clearly that that issue of legacy payments has been agreed between Sinn Féin and the British government? I can prove that, yes. Yeah, well, and will you prove it? Will you put that document uh, that, into the public domain? Because otherwise, uh, we just have to no, take your word for well, it. Well, you can take my word for it or not, because all the logic... Well, it's there. always good to back these things up with evidence, no, I isn't do, it? I do understand that, uh, but that is not my choice. Uh, it is not my decision. Therefore, I'm not going to give a commitment to put that out here. OK, but, but unfortunately, then, well, that just, means that, that no, we just have to take your word for it. And it's your word against Sir Geoffrey's word. Well, that's fair enough. But I am, I am telling you that I have not discussed this with the leadership. Um, I am not going to give a commitment on this programme to give out any. Right. Documents. It's quite a development tonight, that's for sure. And I don't think any well, of us saw it, it coming. Also, Least of all you, Geoffrey Donaldson. Clear, and just to be clear, to say that the DUP, whatever about Geoffrey, didn't know about this, is erroneous. OK. Oh, gentlemen, that has been an intriguing conversation. Thank you both very much indeed for uh, joining us and thank you for your uh, frank exchange of views. I suspect that this is an issue that we will come back to uh, very soon and your phone may be uh, beeping overnight. I would have thought people wanted to talk to you, but we will leave it there. Thank you both very much indeed.